Okay, so here we are. This is uh, video two. This is um, aging the Umarex M1A1. Um, you, you might have seen my last video. I, I kind of uh, got a little sloppy on it. Um, anyway, I covered up some of the uh, what some of my work with some testers uh, flat black. I just went over some of it because I, I got a little carried away. But uh, anyway, so here's uh, here's the one side. And the wearing, uh, uh, the weathering is, is subtle, you know, it would be fairly subtle. But, uh, you know, I worked on the magazine and some of the, uh, the edges, really. That was the focus, you know, that's where the paint is thinner, typically, on the, uh, the edge surfaces. That's where the paint's thin, right along here. And it would most likely wear wear first right so uh, I've cleaned up the, the sloppiness of my last uh, attempt again with some testers flat black just taped and uh, sprayed over my faults there so I'm going to turn it around the other side's clean I'm, I'm going to focus on it and just show you my process so we'll turn turn it around There's the other side, nice and clean, right? It looks okay. I mean, well, it looks great, but uh, it's just not, uh, we want to look a little little worn in, a little weathered. So I'll set it down here, see if I can. Just shift the camera down a little bit. And uh, I just, uh, I've got my sanding block here. You can see it's 220 grit. I'm just going to go over some of the, uh, you know the raised areas and just give them a little scrub wear off some of that paint there you know right there possibly you know you can see there we go we got, we got the silver the steel starting to shine through maybe some there we just just rough it up a bit around the, the around the trigger guard we just just go in this button here and just come in we give a little scrub the thing is is not to go too excessively at it the trigger will shine that up a little bit give it a little wear okay some of these uh, probably rivets just to highlight some of the edging a little bit you can see it's starting to pick up a little bit it adds interest to it move up the camera okay and I'll just blow that off a little bit let's work on uh, work on the magazine a little bit just the edges up and down bring out some of that silver some of the underneath just better looking good a little at a time again 220 grit sandpaper just just to just to pick it up and give it some depth there we go looking better already doesn't take much you know and uh, you know you you could buy the uh, I guess the weathered version and spend the extra forty dollars or you could just do it with yourself you know do it by yourself in about 20 minutes you know um, let's get in here just sort of randomly go over it scrub it down a little bit you know maybe in here there's a little scrub action from from having your hand on the magazine whatever but subtle's good we'll buff that out there we go some scrapes some scratches what have you looking better uh, back here towards the buttstock here's these 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 edges these corners we'll just scrub in there Let's bring out some of that silver. That let's give it that metal look. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Oh, 
And the beauty of shiny metal. Just love it. There we go. Just hook this up. There's an edge. Needs some, some loving. Come back here. Scrub that a bit. Let's, this paint is it's just kind of shiny from the factory. Let's flatten it out a bit. It's looking good. There, a little bit then there. These edges. Let's work on the magazine a hair more. Maybe in here. You've had your hand on the magazine here. It just... You know, and if, and if you've, if you've uh, gone a little too far, you just get some black spray paint and just, you know, spray over it. You know, we, we want to model it up a little bit and, uh, you know, create some interest, right? I don't, I don't like factory fresh, the look. Um, how's it looking? It's subtle. You can't, you can sort of see it, right? Looking much better here. Let's let's go in here a little bit. Why not, right? And I'm using 220 grit. We'll just go in there, scrub it down a bit. You know, just hairy carry, whatever. Get in there. You know, we're not we're not making a masterpiece here. It's not the Mona Lisa. It's weathered weathered metal. Um, let's see how about what else can we do? You know, we don't want to go too overboard with it, right? Because uh, it just doesn't look natural otherwise, but But it's becoming you can see it's becoming more dimensional right much more dimensional. There's much more depth to it and uh, All the machining is really uh, becoming highlighted and it's really coming to life I think you know looks pretty awesome here a little bit on the trigger guard or the trigger there's the trigger guard we did that already we won't fuss with that it's probably good enough in there we'll come back back in here maybe whatever I've, uh, I've been watching some videos on um, M1A ones and uh, you know the, the the wear is uh, in certain areas, and you got to be careful, maybe not to overdo it. Um, but I want to add some some color variants to it, and not have it all just black. A little bit there. You can see maybe I overdid that spot, but uh, you know I can touch it up with some black paint. You know, no big deal. Um, you know, I, I could be I could be finished a little bit on the stick mag at the bottom here, maybe to bring out that edge. You know, you can see it, right? It's looking great. I'm just gonna look at it. Excuse me here for a sec. Okay, and and the uh, the bolt here, maybe maybe in here the slide. There'd be some wear in here. You could see. From being pulled back or from the uh, from the blowback, so there'd be some wear in there, you know. So there, I've a little uh, you know highlight in there, a little wear in there. It's cool. And uh, you know that might be it for now. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I think that's enough. And the next step is uh, the, the wood is a little too um, um, well. It's, it's it's you know it's clean. I like to, to maybe get some some oil kind of um, oil with grit and grime on on the uh, on the stock and on the on the, the grip here. The grips, you know, there'd be some oil and some some dirt. So we'll continue that uh, probably in the next video. But here it is for now. But I think it adds a lot of variance, a lot of interest to the uh, this beautiful piece of machinery. Beautiful piece of engineering. So there you go. 
and that's that's really it what did that take that took like 10 minutes and your weathered uh, m1a1 by umarex just an awesome incredible um air gun yeah there you go take care guys have fun with your guns i don't just play around and uh yeah enjoy yourself flatten it out the paint the paint's quite uh, a little too pristine i'm gonna just whatever in here we'll scrub in there flatten it out create some some tonal difference in the black look at that it's looking awesome right i think so okay that's video number two and uh, stay tuned for the next video like and subscribe and um, we'll be back for video number three probably in the next uh, day or two anyway thanks a lot for watching take care